Yeah. And and that's why men, when you see your wife attacked by your sister, even if your wife was mm -hmm. in the wrong, mm -hmm. you're supposed first of all to defend your wife. Yes. Then yeah. after that, uh, you know, to talk talk to your wife exactly. and then tell your sisters never ever speak like that to my wife. Mm -hmm. When you disrespect her, you are disrespecting me. Yeah. But most men keep quiet. Because they feel what you have said that yakwamba damu ni mzito kuliko kuliko marriage. But you see, at the end of the day, uh, the person you are hurting most is your wife. Mm. Let me start a show with a spirit of gratitude. For always watching and staying tuned, we really appreciate. If you are new on the show, this is the Naked and Not Ashamed show. We really appreciate your families. We appreciate you always supporting what we're doing. Kindly continue to subscribe and continue to follow up with the teachings we give here because these informations might help you or help somebody you know. Be blessed and stay tuned. And also I introduce my panel, a beautiful, powerful panel, my wonderful husband here, and my wonderful parents, mm. the Tua Tua family. Wow. Yes. Well, thank you so much again. So today we are going to discuss the third party in marriages, yes. because marriage was meant for two, so mm -hmm. these two become one. But we have left that aspect of bringing God to be our second part. We are using now the third part in marriages families, friends, in-laws, money, yeah. job, many things that come and then they destroy our marriage. So we are going to discuss them right now on this show to see how can we deal with them so that we remain just the two of us mm. and which, which is one and avoid those destructors. So on the show, we have the daughter couples and the Salanos. Yeah. Welcome. Wow. Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank you. Today yes. we are talking about third party. I love the discussion. Wonderful. And by the way, mm -hmm. Uh, when you're talking about that party, mm. I want to begin by saying yes. that uh, do you know even children are part of the that party? Amazing. Yeah. I never thought of that. Oh, yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Your sons and your daughters, madam, they are part of the that party. Because children yeah. do not validate a marriage. Uh huh. With or without children, you are complete. The marriage is complete with exactly. a husband and a wife. Exactly. Wow. wow. And the purpose of marriage, though it is important to have children, mm. but if you are using that one as the basis of success for your family, for your marriage, mm. then you are doing the wrong thing. Wow. And I love what she's just saying. Yes. And why am I saying that they are part of the third party? Yes. I know some people like saying, really? Yeah, because one time, Mm -hmm. You and I, yes. we were children to our parents. Oh, yes. yes. <laughs> Many years now down the line, mm -hmm. we no longer live we with, no them. Longer with them. We are no longer stay with them. Oh, yes. We moved even out of that home. Imagine. We moved out of that locality. We, go to visit. we only got to visit, visit. them not to stay. as visitors. We go as visitors. Very so, true. anybody destroying their relationship, uh -huh. their family, mm. because of children, you are destroying them because of that party. Mm. Wow. And you should not do that. Amen. In fact, I love uh -huh. what I heard you saying the other day. Yes. That the children are what? Children. <laughs> children. <laughs> yes. Children actually... Uh, 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 they are actually visitors yes. that have come in your life yes. so that you can be able to nurture them, bring them up, and then later on they go and have their own life. Yes. So you don't, you don't, I'm, I'm styling Kukosana. Mm. You're not supposed to have misunderstanding because of the children, mm. because they are a product of the of the union, yes. you get that. Yes. Eh? And so we must learn to separate ourselves and the children. Mm. We, we shouldn't join ourselves so much when it comes to communication, when it comes to some decisions that needs to be made. Mm. It must be purely the husband and the wife. Mm. But you find most of the parents, they want to, to make decisions with their sons mm. or with their daughters mm. and they, they ignore the covenant. Mm. 
your, you, you know your husband your, hus your wife because you feel your children will understand you more mm -hmm. more than more than your husband or your wife mm -hmm. but it's important for you to know the covenant is between a husband and a wife mm -hmm. the covenant is not between husband and wife and children mm -hmm. but uh, I know women we have such a strong attachment mm -hmm. with our children and that's why women will say over my dead body I cannot leave my children mm -hmm. but I can leave the father mm -hmm. but I think it's because of the attachment that comes through the nine months of pregnancy mm -hmm. and plus now breastfeeding them you know bringing them up mm -hmm. teaching them a few things here and there mm -hmm. so there's that attachment between the mother and the child so mm -hmm. much so we feel like they are part of us and you would better offend your husband uh, than offend your children mm -hmm. but it's important to understand that the word of god does not say so mm -hmm. so there should not be any conflict or any tension that should be brought in the family by the children mm -hmm. i need to handle my children to respect the father and vice versa mm -hmm. and they should know they have their own boundaries yeah, yeah they ca we can only welcome them if we need to mm -hmm. but if we don't welcome them then they need to respect also our space mm -hmm. just like we also respect them yeah. you know that that's the way it's supposed to be yeah. so maybe, maybe mm -hmm. there is uh, uh now that we're talking of the children we're talking of the third parties mm -hmm. in a space of marriage mm -hmm. in a situation where there is conflict mm -hmm. and you, there is a conflict between the both of us yes. should i run to either the children maybe there are adults should i call them or should i run to my parents should i is it a uh, good thing to take your issues outside or wow. what is mm -hmm. your take on that yes wow. pastor. Yeah. before you answer that mm. just i close on children then you come mm. with that answer mm. yes uh just also someone said that children are visitors mm. who overstayed their welcome mm. <laughs> so one, one time i'm just at okay mm. and also the, i've heard of people have said that I'm just in this marriage because of these children. Mm -hmm. Yes. And also, I've had marriages where they say, before these children came, we were very happy. Mm -hmm. But since these children came, we are no longer together again. Mm -hmm. Every day, Muzame talk about Mepeleka out. The man is out there with the children. Or even the wife. Or the mm -hmm. wife has gone out. She always hanging mm -hmm. out with the children. Muzayata, mm -hmm. So I sure. think we should be able to know that. Mm -hmm. Before these children we were, mm. before them, and and the marriage was just for the two of us. Mm. Yes. And and also someone said that uh, mm, children are not part of the marriage; mm. they are a product of the marriage. Yes. Wow. So should know the wow. difference. Wow. Mm. I like yeah. that. So, I also want yeah. to add on what you have said. Mm. But the reason why you will find a mother getting so attached to the children and vice versa, mm. it is because nature does not allow vacuum. If mm. you are not connected with your husband emotionally mm. and physically and sexually, mm. you will find you will opt to get the children to come in. Mm -hmm. and occupy that space because you feel like the man has has disconnected or the mm -hmm. wife has disconnected mm -hmm. and so when you find a couple so much into the children mm -hmm. it is a sign to tell you that their their communication mm -hmm. has a breakdown mm -hmm. their sexual life also has a breakdown mm -hmm. and most probably even their finances mm -hmm. they don't talk about finances so mm -hmm. it's like they are co-parenting mm -hmm. but they are together mm -hmm. they are just roommates because of the children mm -hmm. why their relationship is actually toxic mm. they're not able to connect with one another mm. and as you have said that was not meant to be so when mm. marriage began i think a couple should be able to develop um an attitude whereby they can be able to resolve their own issues mm. and if they're not able they should have mentors mm. they should have mentors people who are not family members mm. people who even don't know who don't know much about your family mm -hmm. so that none of them you know becomes biased mm -hmm. or sides with one person mm -hmm. like i would not recommend that if you have a misunderstanding you go and tell your mother you go and tell your father your mm -hmm. sisters you have unless these people they are spiritually very sound mm -hmm. you know very sound you can get a sister a brother who is very very sound he looks like a mother mm -hmm. you can then seek advice from them and mm -hmm. someone who is going to guide you in the right path mm -hmm. because you find most of the times the people that we go to seek um, advice from mm -hmm. they mislead us they take advantage of the situation mm. and they tell me miss you if you evil me i can't take this me i can't i can't wait for this mm. but at the end of the day if you read if you waited a little bit probably your partner mm. would have changed or if you sought you know professional counseling or even pastoral counseling mm. so i wouldn't encourage a couple that has misunderstanding mm. to share it with their family members their sisters their brothers why mm. It, per adventure, if we go on and we agree with Pastor Monene, mm. they will still remain with that notion. Mm. These people are pretending. 
mm. and maybe probably we have changed pastor mm. may have changed i may have changed but mm. because we went and shared with them our innermost uh, issues which they thought that we don't have mm. at the end of the day you find now it distorts their mindset towards each one of us mm. and so better to get someone who is neutral mm. someone who knows that marriage can have challenges mm. and when you are able to be helped by those people you can be able to overcome mm. yes it's just like us we never began with pastor Munene like this mm. yeah. but because and we never shared it with our parents even when you were mm. struggling in our first years of marriage mm. in communication sex mm. you know issues of money issues of mm. how to handle the children mm. we never went to our parents mm. we looked for mentors mm. who came in and were able to give us advice and counsel and when we applied that knowledge mm. that knowledge has really worked for us mm. and if, even as we were applying the knowledge you find even God continues to add you more mm. so it is not wise maybe, mom, maybe just to add to what you're saying what yes. I've learned from mm. you and mm. like yeah. over the time mm. is the fact that you guys have brought it out so clearly that mm. marriage there is no perfect marriage yes. from oh, the yeah. onset mm. it has to take uh, go through a process mm. and a development mm. and that brings me to a situation where mm -hmm. there are misunderstandings mm -hmm. I kind of feel like currently people are so much prepared for separation mm -hmm. separation than mm -hmm. the working reconciliation, uh, reconciliation mm -hmm. the healing part of the marriage and now they're taking the role as as a partner who is in mm -hmm. people are just in for the good mm -hmm. so you mm -hmm. see we get to understand that most of the misunderstandings we get in homes mm -hmm. well it stems from the perception of that person oh, yes. which is built by their childhood mm -hmm. experiences oh yes this person maybe this constant uh, conflict or misunderstanding could be a childhood trauma that you need to address mm -hmm. so unless you sit down two of you mm -hmm. and i run to my mother i won't get the solution yeah. Very true. i need to come to a point where i create a safe environment and i ask my partner mm -hmm. what happened to you mm -hmm. why does this thing keep recurring mm -hmm. some of when they are physical abusers they you get a physical abuser who maybe it's not him it is mm. something that maybe you can help the person get out through mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you can advise for counseling mama has spoken of counseling and mm -hmm. things like therapy mm -hmm. you say maybe darling this is the time to go for therapy mm -hmm. this is the time to go and see pastor sue and mm -hmm. reverend uh, yes mm -hmm. so this, these are the things that needs to be talked mm, about yes. openly so that we don't just say if you see a challenge you present a challenge and the only solution is quit Oh, I, th yes. I, think, I think where that thing comes from mm. is from the onset of getting married. Mm. Nowadays, people get in marriage 50 50. Mm. You see, like, you should get in marriage when you are very sure that mm. there's no way I'm going back mm. again. Mm. They said this so, the same Germans are going to war mm. and they will go and cross an ocean. When they cross the ocean, they burn the bridge, they destroy their exactly. anything that will make exactly. them go back. Exactly. They say, to Nanda, we either go and die or win this war. Mm. But now, people are getting in marriage saying that mm. Me, Nikona, anything. I step mm. out, and you will see those things. The moment yeah. that you will never just see anything yeah. fishy with mm. this man, I will step we, out. We call them so red, 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 red flag. Red flags. So people are ready mm. for separation than ready for reconciliation. Or so when, 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 uh, when an issue comes, and some women is where I miss you, who's okay to. But then, even I've seen a new work is a work. So, maybe you can away. I know she appeared on a Samanga Mutacha, and maybe your time may fika quite any mefika. So, mm. I can still go away. That's why, I, and uh, I think we need to come in marriage when we are prepared that I'm getting here yeah. for better, for worse. Whatever exactly. comes out, I look for a solution. Yeah. She did it because I find how to, uh, to get away out. Yeah. So, I think now coming to the next thing that I think also is a big issue mm. in, in our marriages. It's also very close family uh, family members, mm -hmm. whereby family members come and become a very big issue in our marriages. Mm -hmm. Like maybe we have my brother coming to stay with us, mm -hmm. and he when he comes wow. in that home, he wants to have my attention mm -hmm. than my wife's attention. Mm -hmm. Also, he want to have put and she just he just want to show my, my wife that he nyumba ni bro, na is between his brother yangu. So we pia ni mugeni tu apa. And then us as men, we fail to understand that. This woman has come in this home as a stranger. The only person she knows is me. Mm. Nobody else. So whenever she's facing conflicts, I'm the one who should defend her. But they will brother. And there's no way God has said that you and my brother, me and my brother will become one. Or me and my mother will become wow, one. Or true. me or my sister will become Very one. True. So it's only me and her who are one. Exactly. And I should be there to, to yeah. defend her. So I think mm. we can discuss that issue where you find that mm. we allow 
fine remember to come and in the middle of marriage and even our marriage ends because of my mother came in mm. and took over my brother came and took over mm. so, so mom, mom maybe will learn a lisa where is the place of parents in a marriage wonderful how far can you go mm -hmm. as a mother or as a, a father mm -hmm. to that in that marriage i think in the african context it's mm. quite a bit challenging yeah. because you find that uh, most most of us when our parents even grow old yeah. we have to stay with them with the mm. children yes, yes. and so uh, it is important for people to understand that uh, uh, you the covenant as uh, salano has said mm. that the covenant is between your husband and your wife exactly. it is not between you and your sister your brother your mm -hmm. mother and most of the times it's unfortunate that mm -hmm. when people are married like us mm -hmm. if we have a, maybe an agenda or something a development issue that we want to to do you find most of the couples who go and seek advice from their moms mm -hmm. seek advice from their cousins seek advice from their friends and at the end of the day because these people are not on the ground to read the mood mm -hmm. and see how things are mm -hmm. they are likely to mislead you you leave the person whom you have a covenant with someone mm -hmm. who understands uh, your strength your financial strength you are going to show that you have money mm -hmm. And so at the end of the day you find uh, the money that was supposed probably to build to take children to school has been diverted mm -hmm. because your mother does not live with you and i think this is a problem with men mm -hmm. so much men are the ones who are affected in this area wow. where you find now men our men are not able to detach themselves with their mm -hmm. mother mm -hmm. and this is the excuse they say they say that this mother labored with us this mm -hmm. mother suffered with us this wow. mother when mm -hmm. our dad left is mm -hmm. and it's true mm -hmm. it was all over it's most of the families mothers labor a lot mm -hmm. so so it's it's not a time now the men think when they marry is a time to pay back mm -hmm. you know all the generosity city all the sacrifices you know all mm -hmm. what the mother did and if you try to advise or or just try to mm -hmm. say no yes the wife becomes an obstacle thank you and do you know where i came from with my mother yes nikitembe kinyasa kama maruka mataka yonekana hobo no you do you know why you there you my there? mother was there <laughs> yes. when we were going hungry who was feeding me to my mother why you there so she yeah. becomes an enemy yeah, and and, and unakuwa kunambia i'm telling you if you come between me and my mother mm -hmm. is either one of you live and it's not you, my mother who lives so yeah. live which, and in which, fact, which, uh, which actually is mm, ill-informed. It's very mm, ill-informed. It is ill-informed because if you just understand the, the place of marriage where two becomes one, mm. these other people should be just third parties mm. and mm. should there should be the distance should distance. be yeah, yeah mm. not exactly. that we call them it is yes. us who allow them inside mm. yeah mm. i think that's something that many need to understand and know that uh, if you don't protect your wife mm. from your relatives the, mm. your sisters your brothers your mother mm. then they will never respect your wife because your wife cannot defend herself mm. against your people mm -hmm. and vice versa mm. so it is important for us to know that uh, you have to stand strong as a man mm. and tell them this is my wife she's not a domestic worker some mm. of us are married and the mother wants you to cook the mother wants you to get firewood the mother wants you to go and fetch water so you find you have married your wife but it is like she's a house girl mm. a domestic worker mm. to your mother mm. especially people who live in shags mm. and so it is important for us to know that our, our wife is not a is not a domestic worker is not someone who is now under the authority of your mother and your father-in-law and your brothers and your sisters mm. and that can only come when a man stands is strong mm. and and that's why men when you see your wife attacked by your sister even if your wife was mm -hmm. in the wrong mm -hmm. you're supposed first of all to defend your wife yes. then yeah. after that uh, you, you know to talk, talk to your wife exactly. and then tell your sisters and never ever speak like that to my wife mm -hmm. when you disrespect her you are disrespecting me yeah. but most men keep quiet because they feel what you have said that ya kwamba damu ni mzito kuliko kuliko marriage mm. but you see at the end of the day mm. uh, the person you are hurting most is your wife mm. and when you hurt your wife there is no harmony there is no unity mm. so you begin to have challenges in your communication in your sexual life mm. in your finances but you are the one who you never foresaw this thing you never saw that word mm -hmm. or those words and those actions mm -hmm. affecting those areas that are very key in your marriage mm -hmm. so i think it's something that every man must be very deliberate and also women mm -hmm. yeah women have no problem defending their husband mm -hmm. against their people when they attack them very few women mm -hmm. are, are not able to do that but men mm -hmm. are a serious uh, what would i say so many men even mm -hmm. educated and uneducated yeah. you know even clergy they have fallen a victim their mm -hmm. mothers are the ones who control 
their marriages, what, yeah. where they are going to, what they are going to buy, yeah. where do they buy, what time do they do, even the school, even the building, if anything, even if she want to buy the wife clothes, mm. it is the mother who detects that. Yeah. But that's not, the Bible says you shall leave your mother and father, mm -hmm. Genesis 2 verse 24, leave mm. your mother and father mm. and be joined with your wife mm. and you shall become one flesh. Yes. So that's very, very, very well, powerful. Well, someone wants to add something, yes. before we ask, yes. <laughs> that, that point of whereby, <laughs> For this reason, a man mm. shall leave his father and mother. Mm. Me, I always think that if it's, leave. Mm, if it's possible, mm. when you get married, yes. move away from move your away father. from your mother. Yeah. Yeah. If it's possible, mm. if you can move away from them, just at a kama si kwenda town, kando tundio askwe bruna sama mboch. Yes. 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 Yeah, you, you find that even as such, I I think if yeah. you see this lady is fit to be a wife, mm. when you marry her, move aside. Move move aside. Aside. And and they I think an ideal woman for you as a man doesn't have to fit the test of the rest, rest test. of the family members. Yes, it's me marrying. How to turn to into a, a, in a, a beast of burden? <laughs> I'm doing everything around. Kwenda shambani kufanya nini? That one is isn't supposed to happen. Yeah. You've seen families separating because of just a lady cannot mm. handle the pressure of serving the brother-in-laws, oh, yes. sisters-in-laws, mm. oh, yes. taking care of the baby, going to grace the mm. gods. And you don't have to prove. You don't have to prove a point. I, I yeah. think when we talk about living, mm. uh, which you have said, yes. uh, I would want us maybe a little bit to look into that. Mm. What does living means when the word of God says, a man shall leave his father and his mother and shall be joined together to become one. So number one is the physical living. Oh yes. So, uwezi kuwa unataka kuwa na unataka kuleta muke wako mahali mama yako yuko. The same house. The same co compound. Mm -hmm. Or even the same house to yes. make the mother. Now that one is even more worse. Yes. <laughs> you because know, when you're having to atua, your mother is listening. Because how are you going out to have to atua? Yeah. You know how are you going out to have shouts of joy? Uh, you know. You know. And all that. Yes. So that can become a challenge. Mm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So you should be able to at least wear the body. Toka kwa hiyo compound. Toka kwa hiyo nyumba. Yes. Ukiona unataka kuwa na badu hujia toka mahali ambao umererewa. Where your mother, your father is. It's a, it's a red flag. It's a red flag. <laughs> it's a red you are flag. not ready. So physical mm. living, living is very important. Wow. I also tend to think, and someone can also contribute in this, mm. when it comes also to financially, mm. you should also be able to live. Yes. It's very true. Mm. Financial mm. living. <laughs> living. Okay? Yes. yes. If mm. you're married to a man, mm -hmm. probably he has struggles here and there. You're still building yourself together. And mm. maybe your parents are rich. Mm -hmm. They are stable. They have the change. They have all the investments. Mm -hmm. I really don't feel if it is appropriate always to run to your parents for financial help. Mm -hmm. I think you should start from whatever you have, build it slowly, mm -hmm. and try to fit into the situation you're having. Wonderful. This thing of, my that husband cannot buy a car, he hasn't bought a car yet, mommy, when mm. can we have this? It is exposing your husband, husband and your family, mm. and there will be no respect for that. Exactly. Yeah, for there will be no respect. Be no Simply respect. because your parents are well up, yeah. uh, they are doing well, yeah. and so you're always depending on them to pay your bills. Oh, yes. yes. To pay the school fees. Yeah. To pay the, uh, the maternity fee. <laughs> that is serious. <laughs> <as well. laughs> you see? So financially also, you should be able to do what? To live. To live. Yeah. You know? So I'm thinking of those two. Mm. And yeah. also there is uh, an aspect of yes. information or spiritual aspect of living. Mm -hmm. For example, mm -hmm. if there is a indoctrinated knowledge in Imekwanga, the norm in your home, that mm. daddy does this to mom, mm. and that is what is there. When you want a successful marriage, you don't have to carry some of the information, mm. or probably you have a big mm -hmm. brother who is doing certain things mm. or running his marriage in a certain way. Mm. We had a friend who used to tell us, you know, us, my big brother beats his wife. Mm. You know, it's something that I've seen daddy do, my big mm. brother. So, Nikamuliza, are you also going to beat your wife because he had already beaten mm -hmm. the wife? Mm -hmm. So are you beating your wife because they did it? Mm -hmm. You have to change the narrative because the person who endured beating the other area mm -hmm. might not 
and you are in your own case. Yes. So I think leaving the information, that's still part third party mm, whereby yeah. there is an information that is not serving you. Mm. It could be from parents, it could be from friends or social media. Kama is it wana semanga to you is gym wana mumes gene what you, yeah, you, you, I, I, I remember the story of a guy who was with us, and the the, the, the wife was in her periods. Yes, when she's in a period, she goes through a lot of pain. Yes, mm -hmm. so I can wambia that you, I I need breakfast. I can be I'm so pain. Can you not say dear kupik? Me me nikusa dear kupika me. So it was a very big challenge. They came to us, and I was like, in Kambia, what was so hard for you to cook just because your wife is in pain? I can say masalano even me in our home. I don't do that. Even if my mother. Ana tembele tumbo na uchungu aje. She must come and aoshe apige viatu ya barangi ambadi tafute soko sambwa. Yes, so akasema I cannot do that. I cannot be a man. So I can never go in the kitchen cook because she's in pain. I need to apply kicha yang. Ne kambi ano that's so wrong. So we have we have we have imported that as a third party. Also another third party that comes not physically, especially if I say it's like. Your wife comes, she's new here, and you meanza kuwana, and then now you tell her, "Mimi is kulangi chakula ivo." You want her to cook like your mother, so you are introducing another third party in your marriage in a silent mode. So you want this woman to be like your mother. Atike kama maya ko, aonge kama maya. Mama 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 hasn't been happening in your place, you know. <laughs> and you know, uh, oh we are talking about the, the parties and uh, mm. what happens. Yeah. And these are things that are happening, exactly. you know, mm. day to day. Mm. They are here with us. Mm. Sometimes you find that uh, a, a couple get married, mm. but there is nothing that I will do mm. without my mother validating the same. Mm. Yes. You see? So you find that before we undertake any project, mm. it's my mother, my uncle, my, your brother, my your cousin, mm. who will validate whether mm. the project will go on or not. Now, that is not, be, not what being a man is. Mm. And do you know how it happens? Mm. You sit down with your wife. Yeah. You decide he pays her twenty nine plot band flying. You agree? Yes. This is what you are going to do. Location, yeah. Location. You decide. Say you seal it. It's finished. Yes. And then you go and visit your mother. Then you just come and umen your mother to. You plot no new line. We'll talk about it. So we are discussed. We'll see. You place. You place your nkani mzuri. Ah. I thought we had seen that place was good. That yeah, you place it on our chawi. Sita kitu ende uko. But no. Kumbe, you want her she just go, Ali, Ali, she met another committee. You oh. That's not the place to go. Yeah. So you find that I am not man enough to make my own decision. Mm. I have to go and consult my mother. Mother, mm. say, man, no, it's a no. It's a no. Even if the wife says yes. yes. Or yes. whereby you see some people also, uh, they are summoned at home, mm. and you find that you have been waited by a delegation mm. of your sisters and brothers mm. and your parents. Mm. And the subject is to talk about your wife. Mm -hmm. yeah, now, that is so humiliating. Mm -hmm. You see, mm -hmm. you've been summoned mm -hmm. and they are coming to talk things that you know very well. They are neither here or, or there. Or, or even you come and your wife is the subject of an awake pare and they are saying that they don't want this, they don't want this, and you are there. Mm -hmm. Now, I want to say that is very very wrong. There was a conflict in a marriage. Yeah. So this guy, he doesn't talk to the wife. All He's right. not ready to solve the issue. Then I'm better by the way to end the home weekend. Fine, I'm going to get my my parents to get together. Yeah. Yeah. Then they drive to the village. Bibi ajui kuna shida nini kufika huko the councils of elders mm. so we've called you here today because you people know what is happening so everybody knows what is happening apart from her yeye amekuja kama farai amekuja kutembelea then apart from so anaanza now kuna committee mm. so mm. Eh, maybe mama nani you can tell us what's happening here like mimi eh, what what's is happening, happening? <laughs> yeah, no, you, 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 our brother Your has come to has us. Been complaining. She has complaining. You are no longer a wife. This is what you do. You no longer have sex with her. So, Nansa Kushanga, even bedroom secret issues are now your mother is away, your brother is away, your cousins are away. Everybody's now aware about that. Mm. Now, it's no longer. Is it that even third party or a hundred party in so the marriage? In, sasa, such, a sasa, in, in sasa. such a situation, <laughs> in a kuanga, the guy is looking for an excuse mm. for mischief. Oh my yes. When people are looking for excuses for mischief, eh. they call committee that you don't know about 
cheat. And then, most of it, then yeah. during that time, he will not speak. Sasa tunataka huyu cousin atoa maoni yake, huyu anaongea the husband is just there. And then whatever will be decided in that committee is final. And it's mostly it's against your wife. Obviously, they can, it cannot be. So, I'm going to leo, I take Kuskia, brother, to Akila Lamika, mm. that you're no longer doing this. If you are not able to do this, then you tell us if you are tired. Number two, you don't support your, our, our brother in this and this. If you're not able to support him as a wife, then tell us. Oh, yes. Number three, we are told that you, you are always this, 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 you go out. Mm -hmm. nini, nini. So, you are a community mm. wife. So, you are like, hey, why did you tell me these things? Mm.